Today is a day for mourning and remembering. Nancy and I are pained to the core by the tragedy of the shuttle Challenger. We know we share this pain with all of the people of our country. This is truly a national loss. We mourn seven heroes, Michael Smith, Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista Mikuloff. We mourn their loss as a nation together. The families of the seven, we cannot bear as you do the full impact of this tragedy. But we feel the loss, and we're thinking about you so very much. Your loved ones were daring and brave, and they had that special grace, that special spirit that says, give me a challenge, and I'll meet it with joy. They had a hunger to explore the universe and discover its truths. They wished to serve, and they did. They served all of us. We've grown used to wonders in this century. It's hard to dazzle us. But for 25 years, the United States space program has been doing just that. We've grown used to the idea of space, and perhaps we forget that we've only just begun. We're still pioneers. They, the members of the Challenger crew, were pioneers. And I want to say something to the school children of America who were watching the live coverage of the shuttle's takeoff. I know it's hard to understand, but sometimes painful things like this happen. It's all part of the process of exploration and discovery. It's all part of taking a chance and expanding man's horizons. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. Krista McCulloch, one of the Challenger crew, was a high school teacher interested in bringing space exploration to the classroom. Following the Challenger accident, the families of the astronauts got together and decided to create a learning center for kids. In the words of the family of the Challenger's crew, the dreams of the children for the future were put on hold. Challenger's mission must continue. The Challenger Learning Center would continue the mission of exciting the imagination and inspire children around the world to set their goals high. Today, more than 500,000 students, none of whom were even born when the Challenger accident occurred, participate in the Challenger Center programs annually. Students visiting the center are divided into crew teams. These teams mirror real crew and command positions NASA uses to complete its shuttle missions. The children work together to solve problems and make discoveries in the same fashion as real-life NASA crews. Educator programs instruct teachers how to create simulations for the classroom setting. More than 6,000 educators learn the value of the in-class program, adding to the 30,000 classrooms where Challenger Center school-based programs have been made available. And the mission continues. Our vision for the future is a global community where students command their own destinies by developing skills in decision-making, teamwork, problem-solving, and communication, skills needed for the 21st century. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger honored us for the manner in which they lived their lives. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them, this morning, as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye, and slipped the surly bonds of Earth to touch the face of God. <laughs>